up everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the love hearts book tag this wasn't the video that i had planned for today but uh, i couldn't i had a woman's reading vlog planned but i didn't read the books that i wanted for that vlog so that's being scrapped and so i was looking for a video to post on tuesday so i just stumbled across this tag video and i thought it would be really fun to do obviously for Valentine's Day. I will leave the creator of this tag down below so you guys can go check it out But I've seen this video on a few different uh, channel. So I thought it would be really fun It's only like eight questions. So I thought it would be a really quick fun tag video to film I would love it if you guys would comment down below your answers for these questions I would love to know and without further ado, let's get started So question number one is if I look that way that's because my computer is there and all the questions are there so just so you know. Uh, question number one is, I love you. What's your all-time favorite romance book? I'm gonna go with, this is an older book and it's not that popular. Not a lot of people know about this book, but I love this book so much. It's the one that I go back to every time I wanna read a romance book and it is The Edge of Never by J.A. Medmensky. This came out in like 2000, 2013, so it is an older book, but this was so good. This was when the new adult genre kind of just came to be. Um, this was one of those, like it was in that phase, and I read this one, and I loved this one so much. It's not one of those fluffy romance. This is a very emotional, heart-wrenching type of romance book. It's so good. It's about this girl named Cameron, and one night after... Something happens, she decides to pack her things and go on a road trip just to clear her mind. And then enters Andrew, she meets him on this road trip and then they decide to do a road trip together and obviously they fall in love and it's so good. I love road trip books so that's one thing but these two characters I just loved so much. The, like I said, this is an emotional book but it was so good. I've read this book several times now. I haven't read it in a long time, but I I should reread it because it was so good. There is a sequel to the book, which I don't really like, to be quite honest with you. The first one, was, it was just so good. I love this book so freaking much. If you read this book or know about this book, I would love it if you would comment down below because, like I said, I don't think this book is super well known and really popular on here. It is very steamy. Um, it, like I said, it's one of those new adult books, so it has some sex scene in this book so if you guys don't like this then I would not recommend this book but if you don't mind some steaminess then I would highly recommend this book it's probably my favorite romance book of all time question number two is be happy what is a book that make that makes you really happy every time you read it I don't reread romance book that often I mean besides the edge of never I don't think I've ever reread a romance book no that's not true I did reread the hailing game um, because I read it when it first came out and wanted to reread it when the movie, like closer to the movie release. But besides that, honestly, I don't think I've ever, I don't really think I've ever reread a book. I know I talk about this book like constantly recently, but it's one of my favorites, and it is the uh, Love Hypothesis by Ali Azelwood. This made me so happy when I read it. I was reading it when I was going through a tough time, and I just this put a smile on my face. I thought it was just so freaking cute. I love Adam and Olive's relationship. I love the book itself. I This made me really, really happy when I read it. I know I've been constantly talking about this book, but for good reason, guys. This is so good. Go read it. Um, I mean, I know it's been really, really hyped lately, but I would highly recommend this book. Question number three is Date Me, um, a book a character that you would date. This is a funny, qu not funny question, but I don't get crushes anymore really in books. Like I used to get like really big crushes and I used to, you know, when I was younger, would just read a book and like fall in love with the male character and I just would want to like date him and I don't do that anymore really. And so it was a hard question to answer. Um, when I did read this, I f kind of fell in love with Andrew, but I don't, I don't think I would be a good fit for Andrew because I don't think I would be a good fit for him but I did kind of have a crush on him so I don't think we would be a good couple. A male character that kind of came in mind when I was answering this uh, tag is Red in Get Alive Chloe Brown. Not necessarily because of Red itself even though I do think he's like really cute and I, yeah, I really like him. 
But this is a trope that I love in romance books that I don't read a lot where it's like make a list and then um, a list of things that you want to do before you die or before you turn 30 or something like that and then um, the male character kind of helps you go through that list and I thought it would be really fun and I want to do that too and I want Red to do these activities with me. Maybe? I don't know. Question number 3.5. Text me, would you date a non-reader? Well, actually, I do date a non-reader. Um, he used to read quite a bit before knowing me. Apparently, I've never seen that. But apparently, he used to read a lot. But ever since I've known him, he hasn't read a book. So, I do date a non-reader. So, and we've been dating for like three years now. So, you know, there's that. Question number four is Dream On. What's your favorite romantic setting in romance book and what would be your ideal date? Um, I love the idea of a foodie romance book. I've like the idea of them, I love anything that's like bakery related or like food related. I love these romance, but I've been burned so many times by them. I've read quite a few of them and I don't like them normally. There's, there's only like a few of them that I really, really enjoyed. So the idea of them I love, but in actuality, there's only a few that I actually did like. I do also really like a small town romance book. Um, I think that's really fun and nice. It always makes for a good romance in my opinion. So that's really nice. Or a few that I read that I actually really, really enjoy are vacation romance. It doesn't have to be a warm destination, but like any vacation setting, like where the like the main characters go on a goes on a vacation. I normally really like these romance books, so yeah. And then my ideal date, I mean it would kind of depend, I, it really depends on the person. Um, is it a first date or is it like a person you've been dating for a while? Um, a date that I went on that was really nice was like a food truck date that was really nice. We went on a hiking date that was really nice too. I, I enjoy any like activity dates are really nice. Uh, but obviously like, a good restaurant is really cool too, so I don't know. Um, it really depends on the person that I am with. I don't really... I'm open to any kind of dates. Almost. <laughs> Question number six is, Kiss me, what's your favorite romantic scene from a book? Once again, I don't like have an official answer for that one. There is a scene, and once again, I'm sorry, I've been ta I'm gonna talk about this book again, but it is in um, The Edge of Never. There's a scene, which I don't want to talk about because it's a spoiler in this book but there's a scene in the end that I just really really like it's at the hospital and I just uh, yeah that scene I really really enjoy there's I don't want to go into much detail but like that's like a memorable scene question number six did I just say six well this is question number six and it is which uh, three book character would you like to invite to a party and why um, I'm really boring and then I don't know. Okay, so it wouldn't be like an actual party, but like a dinner party where I could talk to these people. I would really like to, um, what's his name? Josh. Josh would be really fun to talk to in the roommates because he is in the adult film industry. So I think it would be really interesting. I think it would be really fun to talk to him and kind of see the behind the scenes of that industry. Um, this is about these. Uh, this is about this girl who drops everything um, to go see a guy that he ha that she has a crush on, and then but he is the, a jerk and he leaves her with his roommate and they fall in love. And it's a really fun, cute book. It wasn't like the best book out there, but I like this one. Like I said, Josh would be really fun to talk to just because of um, his job. But like the characters in Once One Last Top, once again, I think they're really cool and I would like to ha like. Be with them at a party but I don't think I would be cool enough to hang out with them so I don't know that's a hard question but yeah that's kind of my answer I'm sorry I'm failing at this question number seven is you rock a romance book you would recommend to everyone my go-to answer for that which I know it's like a lot of people's go to but for good reason and it is the unhoneymooner by Krishna Lauren this book is so much fun and so cute and a really good romance to start with. Christina Lauren in general, I think they are good authors to begin reading romance with. And this one in particular, 
This is kind of a love to hate slash fake dating moment. This is just a really fun book. It combines two things that I love. The hate to love moments and the vacation trope like romance as well. I think most people do enjoy this book so it's a good way to start reading romance. And then the last question is be mine. What is a book that you really want to read slash own? Own would be the third book in the, the Brown Sister trilogy. I only own the first two. I've read the third one and I loved it but I don't own a physical copy of it so I would really like to own that one. I just I just have to buy a copy one day but I just haven't done it yet. I really want to get into reading more of some indie authors in the romance genre. I'm currently reading The Pool Boy. I'm like 50 pages in. Um, but that's then my, probably going to be my next romance read. And then I'm really really excited for the new Emily Henry book. I don't know when it's coming out but I know it's this year so that's one that I'm really excited to have and read. So that's it. These were all the questions for this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night depending on you're watching this and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I can't believe that you came into my life You made me feel again Now it's my turn